If you're reading this, stop, head outside and look north. For viewers across the northern United States, the northern lights will likely be visible for the nights of December 9th and 10th. The Space Weather Prediction Center, part of NOAA and the National Weather Service, is predicting a geomagnetic storm that will pass over Earth between December 9th and 11th, the night of greatest activity is expected to be on the 10th. The storm will potentially be powerful enough that viewers in northern states of the contiguous U.S. may be able to see the colorful glow of the aurora. This solar storm is caused by a coronal mass ejection, in layman's terms, a massive eruption of particles from our sun. While the Earth's magnetic shield and field generally protect us from the worst of this solar radiation, some particles enter through the auroral ovals around the north and south poles. Those particles excite atoms in our atmosphere and produce the light we know as the Aurora Borealis Northern Hemisphere and Aurora Australis Southern Hemisphere. Of course, like all storms, this one might not turn out like the space weathermen are predicting. But depending on where you live, here are tips to try and see the northern lights tonight and tomorrow. According to the AccuWeather Weather Service, Aurora hopefuls as far south as Oregon, the Dakotas, Wisconsin, and Michigan may be able to spot the aurora. Of course, earthly weather conditions can also affect your viewing, so be sure to check for cloud cover before heading out to chase the aurora. Curious about which states will be in the range of potentially seeing the aurora? If you live in Washington, Northern Oregon, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Northern Nebraska, Northern Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Upstate New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, or Maine, you're in luck. Depending on where you live in each state, the aurora may be visible from your latitude. Even though the aurora may be strong, trying to view it from as far south as the contiguous U.S. means you'll need to escape the light pollution that's so common in densely populated parts of the county. Plan to drive for one to two hours to a good spot with dark skies, and make sure you have a view of the northern horizon at whatever place you plan to view from. Viewing the aurora from such a low latitude means that you won't see the aurora overhead like you might in destinations like Alaska or Iceland which are under the auroral oval. Instead, look as far toward the northern horizon as you can. If the conditions are right, you'll see the northern lights low above the horizon, dancing high in the atmosphere. Remember that travel is still limited due to the ongoing pandemic, so plan ahead if you're heading out on an aurora chasing trip this week. Be sure to check on any overnight services you might need, such as gas or accommodation, to make sure you have a successful and safe trip.